There are eight assault rifles to grind. They aren't hard to complete, but they are tedious. You will see a lot of repeating camo challenges on top of having to level up each gun in order to gain access to the camos. A bunch of XP strategies have been found in the game from using decoys within hardpoint to killing anything that moves in invasion. Personally, I'll grind invasion with double weapon XP. Each helicopter of bots seems to gain an entire level's worth. There are a few guns that you will need to level up within the weapon platform system. The M16 is unlocked at the end of the M4 family while leveling up the M4 itself, and then the 556 Icarus light machine gun until you've unlocked it. The castoffs are a bit easier since all of them reside within the assault rifle category, meaning you can unlock gold and then work on the next castoff. You start with the castoff 762 and then unlock the castoff 545 and finally the castoff 74U. Each assault rifle has four base camo challenges you need to complete. The M4 requires you to get 50 kills. This isn't even a challenge, you just use the gun. 50 kills while aiming down sight, once again, completed by playing the game. 10 double kills, which you need to kill two enemies within rapid succession. Small objective based maps will allow for more action, leading to more double kills. If you ever struggle with double kills because you can never get that second kill, let alone find that second player, force yourself into more gunfights by objectives like hardpoint, headquarters, or domination flags. 15 kills from behind has you get kills based on where the enemy is located and what direction they're facing. You need to kill the enemy while their back is turned to you. These will occur naturally, but if you want them to be easier to complete, get behind the enemy's spawn or objective by sneaking, flanking, or killing your way through the map. The TAC-56 has you get 50 kills, 10 double kills, 50 kills while aiming down sight, and 15 hipfire kills. Don't ADS for hipfire kills. It's as easy as that, and the closer you are to the enemy, the more accurate you will be. The Castoff 762 needs 50 kills, 20 mounted kills. Getting mounted kills is never fun. If you spend a few minutes only mounting, you should be able to complete all 20 in a match or two. When I say always be mounting, I mean it. Mount on any corner or surface you are able to until your camo challenge is done. 50 kills while aiming down sight, and then 15 kills from behind. The Lockman 556 will need 50 kills, 10 double kills, 50 kills with any suppressor attachment equipped, it does not matter which one, and 10 hipfire kills. Once again, hipfire kills are easier the closer you are to an enemy. Even though ARs don't have the best hipfire accuracy, you can use different attachments that benefit the recoil control and hipfire recoil control to make things a little bit easier for yourself. The STB 556 requires 50 kills, 20 mounted kills, 10 double kills, and 30 crouch kills. I wasn't kidding when I said the camo challenges repeat themselves. Crouch kills have the same philosophy as that mounted kills have. Until you complete them, crouch as much as you can whenever you can, and crouch every time you get a kill until they're done. It slows your movement down and makes for a boring match or two, grind it out and you don't have to worry about it ever again. The M16 needs you to complete 50 kills, 10 double kills, 30 kills while crouching, 20 kills while mounting on any surface. The Kastov 74U has 50 kills, 15 point blanks that require you to get as close to the enemy as possible and kill them. You have to get close to the enemy whether that's running directly at them, waiting for them to come to you, or sneaking up on them. Whatever it suits you best, do that. Even though shipment hasn't been added yet and will make point blanks way easier, it comes out in season 1 alongside shoot house and that will make camel grinding much easier in general. Then. 10 double kills, and 30 crouch kills. Finally, the Castoff 554 requires 50 kills, 10 hip fire kills, 50 kills while aiming down sight, and 50 kills with a suppressor attached. After all four base camos have been unlocked for an individual gun, you can complete a fifth challenge to unlock gold. Each gun has the same task of getting three kills in a single life 10 times. 
These do stack, so the longer you stay alive and the more kills you get, that all means you will continue to make progression as long as your kills are in multiples of three. This is easy to complete. Three kills, that's it. It's not rocket science, so when you're two kills in and you need that last enemy, don't panic or overcommit for that last kill. Play the game and have fun. The less you focus on the obstacle of three kills, the more you'll be able to complete without getting frustrated. Once gold has been unlocked on all eight assault rifles, you will unlock a sixth challenge to unlock the platinum camo. Each assault rifle needs 25 long shots. Some guns are better than others. For me, the M16 and the Kastov 74U were the most difficult. From my experience, long shots require you to be a minimum of 42 meters away from the enemy. The shortest distance I completed a long shot from was 42.3 meters. Playing on larger 6v6 maps will help make the progression easier. If you feel like you aren't getting very many long shots while playing in 6v6, go play in Ground War. The maps are exponentially larger, meaning long shots will be easier and in theory should be achieved more frequently. Even though Invasion shares the same maps as Ground Wars, I recommend staying away from that game mode so you don't have to worry about dying to bots or killing bots and making no weapon progression.